Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach who has lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss and it is Saturday, so it's grocery haul day. And I have a massive haul for you. I actually did a stock up haul at Sam's Club and then I stopped by another local grocery store so I have a big haul for you. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I upload a grocery haul every Saturday and five videos every single a week. Down in the description box, you will find nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized macros and calories. This is what I follow to lose and maintain 140 pounds, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our free supported Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let me turn you around and let's jump into this massive grocery haul. So the first part of my big grocery haul is from Sam's Club. I had to pick up a few of the staple things we grabbed from Sam's Club or Costco, and I went ahead and made a trip while this little missy right here was at chemo today. So let me show you what I picked up. So I did grab a couple gallons of 1% milk for Troy. They ended up being pretty much the same price as the regular grocery store, but he was out and since I was there, I picked up two gallons. I also grabbed another two pack of his favorite bread. I'm just going to throw this in the freezer. He goes through quite a bit of bread and it's such a better deal at Sam's Club. And then their Rayos marinara is currently on sale for $9.98, I believe. These are the little bit smaller jars, but this is such a good marinara sauce no added sugar nice clean ingredients and then I got a lot of lunch meat I got ground I got turkey for myself because my meal prep my lunch meal prep requires turkey I am also going into my little mini cut so a lot of the food I picked up is specific to that and turkey is a fat-free great source of protein and then Troy actually asked for ham so I got the uncured black forest ham these two are the two meats that I will probably eat and then he asked for roast beef as well so I picked that up so lots of lunch meat the price at Sam's Club is so good and I also grabbed some Colby Monterey Jack cheese slices again he eats a lot of breakfast sandwiches and sandwiches in general and we go through a lot of cheese in this house as you know so I picked that up I grabbed some liquid egg whites because I am going to be watching my fat a little bit more on my cut not a lot but a little bit and this was such a great deal ten bucks for six cartons is a fantastic deal and that way I can make my egg fold overs and scrambles and things using egg whites and regular eggs and then I was so excited to see the premier protein cookie dough I bought the salted caramel peanut last time two cases of that and that's actually what I was going to pick up and then I saw that they had the cookie dough and I snagged a case. This is actually one of my favorite Premier Protein flavors. And then these were on a coupon for 10 bucks, which is amazing. There's 24 of these. These are just the little Country Archer grass-fed beef minis. These are 40 calories, zero sugar, four gram grams of protein. I love these and Troy loves these, and these will be a really good high-protein snack. For a sweet treat, I got a refill of the True Fru hyper-dried peaches and cream. Nice, clean ingredients, and it's just a really good sweet treat option. 150 calories per serving. It's a small amount for the serving, but it's very satisfying, very decadent, very delicious, and I love the peaches with the white cream. I did grab another bag of Lola's Hip and Joint Chews, only because they're such a good deal at Sam's Club. She still has about half a bag, but I went ahead and grabbed another one. And then we were out, or almost out of regular mayonnaise. We're also out of light mayo, but I'll grab light mayo at Kroger, or my fry store. But I did grab a two-pack of just regular full-fat mayo and a big, huge jug of non-fat plain Greek yogurt. I've actually been using non-fat Greek yogurt a lot, especially again, going into my cut, I'm going to need to lower my fat a little bit. So this will come in handy for high protein. Also grab these. These are my favorite chips in the entire world. I love these. These are the Terra Real Veggie Chips. These are delicious. And I am going to have these as part of my lunch meal prep. I also grabbed some Kleenex because we were almost completely out. I think we only have a couple of boxes left. And then I grabbed the dogs, this big bag of chicken jerky. Really nice clean ingredients. Three pounds, $25. Not a bad deal at all. So I picked that up for them. This is something I've never seen before. I love this brand in Cernia. This is their all-natural classic chicken sausage. Extra lean, 85% less fat. It's ground chicken sausage. So it's great, again, for omelets, frittatas, sausage patties. You can use this in place in recipes for protein. So that was $7, which is a really good deal for two pounds. And then I did grab myself some uncured turkey bacon. Again, just trying to lower the fat a little bit, but keep the protein. This actually has... Six grams of protein and only 45 calories with 75% less 
fat, and I love that it's uncured. Even better. Speaking of uncured, I did grab another pack of Canadian bacon. Again, such a great low-fat, high-protein source, and Troy likes to use this on his breakfast sandwiches. I picked up the Caesar salad kit because, if you know, you know, I put my real good chicken nuggets on this, so I grabbed this a salad kit for the week, and then I'm going to be having quite a bit of sweet potatoes. It's such a good complex carb. This whole bag was $5, so I went ahead and picked that up. It is watermelon season, so I was so excited. I think this was around $8, which is kind of a lot for a watermelon, but it's huge, so I'm so excited to have that this week. I also grabbed some mini cucumbers because this is one of my favorite, favorite snacks, and I have some hummus that I need to use up, so that'll come in handy. Fruit was a great price at Sam's. This was under $4 for two pounds. Yeah, two pounds of strawberries. And then their raspberries are $2.90 a piece, which is a killer deal. So I picked up two. I also grabbed a case of large Gatorade Zero bottles, a case of small Gatorade Zero bottles, and a big case of water. So let's go ahead and jump into the rest of the haul. So here's the rest of my grocery haul for the week. I went to my local Fry's store, which is a Kroger store. What you don't see is four 12 packs of Diet Coke. They're buy two, get two free right now. So I picked those up for Troy. So let's jump into the rest of the haul. So I needed some bread for myself and I don't give two you know what that this is keto. But what I liked about this is there's protein and fiber and there's only 50 calories per slice, 10 grams of carbs, eight dietary fiber and five protein. So really good option for a bread. I've been liking having breakfast sandwiches. I've been doing avocado toast. So I was out of my bread that I prefer. Again, I always choose a bread that has protein and fiber. And then I picked up just some tortilla chips. I'm doing a nacho recipe, and so I needed chips for that. Peanuts is for my meal prep. Wait till you guys see what I'm making in Monday's meal prep. So I picked up some salted sea salt peanuts. I needed some Fiesta corn. I've never in my life bought Fiesta corn. I didn't even know that it was a thing. So I needed Fiesta corn for a recipe. I did decide to go ahead and buy two more cans of olives because because they're still two for $4. And we use olives in a lot of different things. And that's just a really good deal. So I went ahead and picked those up. I also needed some dates for my meal prep. I love dates, so I grabbed those. And then I picked up two packs of the little tasty by little mini cherry strudel things for Troy. These are just a great option for a sweet treat. Very expensive light mayonnaise. The mayo I picked up at Sam's Club was $7.80 for two. This was almost $6. So mayonnaise is out of control expensive, but we were out of light mayo and Troy uses light mayo a lot. So I did decide to go ahead and grab one. And then I also needed some fat-free refried beans for a recipe and also some black beans. I did grab a bag of light shredded Mexican blend, also needing this for my meal prep and lots of produce. I am on my mini cut, so I'm eating a lot of whole real food, a lot of produce. So I needed some spinach for a recipe and it actually called for like the leaf spinach, not the baby spinach. This is more affordable. If you have a recipe that calls for spinach and you're not going to eat it outside of the recipe, this is about half the price of the tub of the baby spinach. So I usually buy this if it's for a recipe. I decided to grab some mini sweet peppers because I have some hummus from Whole Foods in my fridge and I thought how good would that be with hummus as a snack? Some apples for a recipe and then I did grab an extra couple for me for snacking. I needed some green onions for a recipe. I'm completely out of avocado so I picked up two. I also needed a red onion, a red bell pepper, and some tomatoes for dinner recipes as well as for my meal prep. So that is everything that I picked up from my local fry store. Let's go ahead and jump into what's for dinners and what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. So here's what's on my menu for the week. So I'm going to be making oven nachos. You guys will actually see that recipe in Wednesday's what I eat in a day. I'm also making loaded sweet potato skins. I'm so excited for those. And then I picked up that salad kit at Sam's Club for a salad night. And then here's what you'll be seeing in meal prep. So for breakfast this next week, I'm making cottage cheese pancakes. I love cottage cheese, but I've never made pancakes out of them. So I'm really excited for this. Low point, low calorie, high protein. And then for my lunch, I'm doing turkey cheddar apple pinwheels. I'm also really excited for this. I love apple on a turkey sandwich. It just adds a nice sweetness and crunch. And then for a sweet treat, I'm making homemade 
Snickers bars. This is something I've been wanting to try forever. So you'll actually see all three recipes in Monday's meal prep. Thank you for joining me for this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I picked up at Sam's Club, as well as my local fries or Kroger store. New food finds, really good deals, setting myself up for a successful first full week of my mini cut. So I'm so excited to see what the next eight week eight weeks bring. So if you enjoyed the grocery haul, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on, and don't forget to stop by the description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And of course, come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Saturday, friends. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.